Whiskey Cast. Proudly brought to you by Redbreast, the definitive single pot still Irish whiskey. Join the still house at singlepotstill.com and receive an exclusive whiskey tasting journal. Welcome to another episode of Whiskey Cast HD. I'm Mark Gillespie. This time around, we're in Louisville, Kentucky, in a very noisy place. We're going to take you inside the still making process at Vendome Brass and Copper Works. Elmore Sherman Sr. founded Vendome more than 100 years ago, and his great grandsons are running the company now at a time when the craft distilling boom has created record demand for stills. Chris Newman and his wife own Veracity Spirits in Corvallis, Oregon, and he drove 2,300 miles to Louisville to pick up his new still at Von Dome's workshop. We got a 125 gallon pot still, and right now they're in the process of disassembling it so I can pack it in the truck. Because we have low ceilings, we, had, we couldn't go with the column on top, so we have the column on the side. And it's going to really be a showpiece. The people are going to be, there's going to be a lot of other uh, distilleries in our neck of the woods that are going to be jealous, very jealous. Newman's been making vodka in a small 25-gallon still, but this new still will give him the flexibility to be more creative. We're going to be making some whiskey. We, uh, we're still working on it. Um, we will be making some bourbon. Uh, actually, we're going to be making some rye also uh, and some malted... Uh, 100% malted whiskey. We're going to pretty much go across the board. We got a gin basket. We'll be making gin. Um, we, we're just getting started. We just came out with our vodka in December of 2011, so we are brand new. Each still is a little different. Most take about six weeks to build from raw copper and stainless steel. They give us a, a requirement, a parameter to follow, number of gallons, what they're trying to produce, how much they're trying to produce. And then from there, uh, they'll size the steel, they'll size the condensers to go with it. And then it's a matter of adding the extras to it, whether you want to add a wash steel, whether you want to redistill in the pot again, just slower. Shop foreman Rob Cox keeps track of each project, and that means more than just stills. We're pretty busy right now, yes, because not only did we have the pot steel division, we also have the, the, the uh, we have a chemical product division, and food processing division, you know, there's, there's all these other components to the company other than just pot steel. But this is the most fun part, right? Uh, this is the, this is the, this is the part that takes a, a more skilled craftsman over here. These are all, these are our more skilled craftsmen over here working on these jobs. And Chuck Smith is one of the most skilled with 38 years on the shop floor. I made the doors for it and I've got the door jam welded in and what I was doing there was taking the blue off of the inside of the, the manway, putting the finished touches on it so it's nice and smooth and pretty and shiny for the visitors that are going to see that. That is the uh, Jim Beam visitors tank, the 500 gallon mash cooker that will be in their visitor center. They tell me 80,000 people a year will be seeing that so we're trying to make it pretty. And this thing will actually never have mash in it, probably? No, it will have mash in it. Okay. It'll be a used product. It'll be a used system. They'll have a working system in there, and the doors will have a grate inside the bottom of it. You'll be able to open up and look down into 500 gallons worth of uh, mash that's only going to be 12 inches out of the floor. It'll only be this far out of the floor. And the rest of this will be below floor, and uh, they'll have that much showing. And you'll be able to walk up and open them doors and look right down into 500 gallons worth of ash. Is this a fun project for you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm, I'm pleased that they give me the opportunity to do that. What's, the, uh, what's, what's so fun about doing the stills compared to all the other stuff you guys do here? Um, the amount of craftsmanship it takes. Uh, this is a one-person job. They gave it to me, and I've been all the way through it. I've been about three weeks getting it from the ground up and to this point, and I enjoy being able to stand back and say, I built that, and be very proud of that I did it. And just the same way with these gentlemen here, they can stand back and say, they built that. And that shows a lot for craftsmanship, a lot for union work. Vendome stills are a staple at major U.S. distilleries, 
like the new Wild Turkey Distillery that opened in 2011, along with Maker's Mark and the experimental still at Buffalo Trace, just to name a few. You got any idea about that, Andy? How many distilleries do you think our stuff is in? Most of them. Most of them. However many there is, most of them. And that's that says a lot for Vendome. And for you guys too, right? And for us too. Quality work. But it means you guys can't have any favorites when you start drinking bourbons, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> we drink it all. We 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 give everybody our money. Share it, spread it around. Got to enjoy. Got to enjoy our product. For more cask strength conversation on whiskey, join us each week for Whiskey Cast. I'm Mark Gillespie.